BCA's own Jay Miller spoke to track star Vanessa Clairvaux. And she's not only just a great athlete, but she's a better person. How'd you get into hurdles? Wow. Um, well, like I said, I've always, I was always um, fast, so I wanted to do track. I never thought that I would be um, this good in the hurdles. Uh, actually, freshman year, indoor track, the first couple days, my coach, um, Coach Russell, started dividing up the girls into events. And I was with the sprinters um, at the back straightaway. And the hurdlers that were already doing the hurdles, like the upperclassmen, were doing it um, at the, on the other side of the track. And I didn't, he told us what the sprinters' workout was, and I didn't want to do it. And I was like, that sounds really hard. It wasn't hard, but I was, in my head, I was a freshman, and I was like, oh my God, that sounds really hard. So he was like, who wants to go try the hurdles? And I was like, me, thinking that it would be easier. So, because I didn't have to do the sprinters' workout. Um, I actually went over there and I met the girls who taught me how to hurdle and till this day I still thank them because I like I can't believe it because I was crying I didn't want to do hurdles I was like I'm not a hurdler this is ridiculous <laughs> why do I have to sprint up to this thing and jump over it um, but they kept pushing me to keep trying it and they saw that I had potential so I kept doing it and practicing and then I and then at one point I wanted it I was like I want to get better competition definitely pushes me. It was definitely the fact that I was leaving, so I was like, I want to leave records. I want to um, leave a mark here, so I want to run in the 13s. A lot of people are saying that you're one of the best, best athletes ever to come out of Brockton High School. Yeah. And it, you seem like a humble person, but what does that mean to you? Well, when I first got here, I, I saw the banners in the gym um, for the teams that were state champions and um, I did look up a lot of um, previous athletes that were doing well, and it's amazing to me that you can start here and then go to the Olympics or just um, affect the younger people so much. So I'm honored to be able, so for people to be able to say that, like I influenced other people. I got a message from a girl earlier today, actually, and she emailed me saying. Um, you don't know me right now, but I want to be just like you. I want to be fast. I was like, wow. <laughs> okay, she's um, a freshman, I think, right now. And I've never met her. She's never done track. So I was just like, wow. And I told her, you know, keep your grades up. Do track, work hard. It'll be worth it. I mean, it feels great. But it all was a smooth sailing for Vanessa Clairvaux. She speaks about her troubles academically and how she had to take student before the athlete. Uh, tell us about your uh, experience at Brockton High School as a student. Um, I struggled with my grades. That's the first thing I like, First, one of the first things I think about when um, I think about my academics at Brockton High. I struggled with my grades and my classes, teachers, students, obviously um, every high school kid does. But um, freshman year I realized that it was gonna affect me because I can't, you can't just be an athlete. You have to be a student athlete and student comes before athlete. So I realized if I didn't keep my grades up, I wouldn't be able to run track because I wouldn't be eligible. If I didn't keep my grades up, um, college coaches wouldn't be as interested in me and it would be harder to get to college. Um, and at the end of the day, the academics are what, are what gonna bring you your job. So I was like, if for some reason, you know they say like, what if you break your leg or something? So I realized if for some reason I couldn't run, I would need my academics. Brockton is, looked at as, you know, um, a dangerous city. Um, people might not be able to be successful coming out of Brockton. I've heard it all, but I mean, we're proving them wrong. Uh, my four by one and four by two, I've been all state championship, uh, all state champions in the past two years, indoor and outdoor track. Um, we have, you know, football players like Albert. Um, I mean, we just, like, we just don't pay attention to what people say if when it's negative as much because we, all we gotta do is prove them wrong. And that's why I really wanna help out the young kids and let them know that, you know, you're from Brockton, so wear your jersey proud and prove people wrong. So now Vanessa is off to her next chapter at Eastern Michigan University. On behalf of Brockton Community Access and the city of Brockton, we wish her the best.